everyone, it's Jennifer, your services librarian in Wuma Public Library. How are you guys today? Welcome to STEAM Lab and welcome to Pink Fingerprints. Today we're going to do uh, in, in activities involving fingerprints and using simple materials like uh, eyeshadows, makeup brushes, cornstarch and more. You'll be able to um, easily collect your fingerprints and examine the patterns patterns of your prints so uh, you, like, as you can see using white sheet of paper and black sheet of paper you'll be able to collect your fingerprint and examine how it looks like and not like no one actually has the same fingerprints and all of your 10 fingers have a different uh, patterns on it so you'll be able to collect fingerprints from your fingers and examine the differences and and have fun with that. So today you get to be a detective and um, I hope you try this at home. Okay, when you're ready, I'm gonna start. These are the materials that you will need to get your fingerprints. And you will need some lotion, it can be body lotion or hand lotion that you have at your home. And some tape, black and uh, white paper, and some cornstarch and some eyeshadow you can use any eyeshadow that you can find i'm just gonna use this and yeah these are the materials that you can easily find at home and yeah let's start okay the first way to get your fingerprint is is using dark color eyeshadow and you can uh, smudge your one of your finger on a pretty dark eyeshadow like this. So I'm gonna use one of my finger to smudge this uh, dark shade of eyeshadow that I found. So I'm gonna rub my finger on it like this. As you can see, it's you can see this uh, dark shade of eyeshadow on my finger. Like this, I will put a little bit more. Okay, and on a white sheet of paper, I'm gonna pass down my finger on it to get my fingerprint. Like this. So I'm gonna press really hard. Okay, and another, I'm gonna use uh, one more finger and I'm gonna press down on a dark shade of eyeshadow again like this I'm gonna uh, okay I'm gonna use this shade okay this should be enough and I'm gonna press down on a white sheet of paper like this press really hard on it okay like this Okay, oh, I will just use my thumb, one more finger, this is fun, I'm gonna rub it on a dark shade, press down really hard, okay, it's very simple, and using this uh, makeup brush, I'm gonna uh, brush on my fingerprints, or you can blow away the excessive eyeshadow powder. Okay, and gently brush away any excessive eyeshadow powder on it. Okay, I think it's you can use the brush or you can blow away. Okay. So these are my fingerprints as you can see. Okay. Like this. So as you do this activity, you'll be able to see your prints pretty clearly on a white paper. So the key thing that you have to remember is using the dark color of eyeshadow and using white paper on it so that you'll be able to see your fingerprints clearly. Okay, so, so once you get your fingerprints on the white paper, um, examine 
how uh, your prints look like and examine the pattern there are three patterns of fingerprints and first one is arch the second one is the loop and the third one is world so you there are three fingerprints patterns that you will be able to uh, you'll be able to examine and compare those patterns to your fingerprints to uh, find out which pattern matches your fingerprints so it's a fun way to examine your prints and yeah have fun with that okay so I'm gonna start with the second uh, second way to get your fingerprints Okay, so I will show you one more way to get your fingerprints using these materials black sheet of paper, brush, hand lotion, tape, and cornstarch. So our hands already have some natural oil on it. So whenever you touch anything or sur surface, it leaves your prints behind. So using this powder, so you can use uh, cornstarch or you can use baby powder. Uh, using this part, you can sprinkle on it on the fingerprints on the surface and they will give, uh, show you more clear fingerprints when you uh, when you put it on a black paper. So we're gonna do that activity and before we start, I'm gonna put some lotion on my hand. It, uh, my hand already has some natural oil on it but it will give more uh, oil so that it will be easier for us for me to get my fingerprints on the surface so i'll put some oil on my hand on my fingers uh, it's very good it got a little sticky <laughs> it's okay so now using uh, now i'm gonna press my finger on this tray okay so it's pretty sticky on my hand so it's it's good and now i'm gonna press some my finger on a tray like this and one more finger now it's my thumb okay so make sure you remember where you press your finger on okay so I think I can remember where and actually I can see the print I can see where I press my fingers on huh because my hand is pretty sticky. So now, using this cornstarch, I'm gonna sprinkle on my print like this. Do you see it? I sprinkle on my print, fingerprint, like this. Do you see it? Just a little bit on the top. And using this brush, I'm gonna brush. I'm gonna put a cornstarch all over my prints so you brush on it like this so your prints get more clear on a tray oh my goodness if you do it so if you do this at home you'll be able to actually see the prints when you put some cornstarch on it because the cornstarch sticks to your print Okay, now I'm gonna brush away any excessive cornstarch. Okay, like this. I'm gonna brush away. Okay, so you have to do it very gently so that you don't um, uh, ruin your fingerprint. So now I'm gonna, using this tape, I'm gonna put tape over my fingerprint like this and then one more okay like this okay and then press down as you can see uh, you see the tape on my uh, fingerprint here and you can kind of see the shape too, right? So looks like this. So I'm gonna lift this tape up gently and I'm gonna put it on this black sheet of paper like this. And then one more. 
more. And then one more here. Okay, now when you uh, put this tape on a black paper, you will be able to see the prints more clearly like this. Anyway, if you have magnet, this is an option, but if you have a magnifying glass at home, try to use it to examine your fingerprint prints more clearly like this. So, like I said before, no one has the same fingerprints. And your 10 fingers have all different fingerprints on it. So, which, uh, which is really fun way to examine your prints because it's all different. And and today you get to be a detective and examine using this simple materials at home so this is a fun way to uh, look at your print and you get to see all different shapes that all different patterns on it now i have more fingerprints on a black sheet of paper right here so at home uh, why don't you try all your 10 fingers and see how your prints look like and how they are different from um, each finger and you'll be able to have fun and examine and analyzing it <laughs> and as you can see now I get to see I get to examine which fingerprints I have it might be loop it might be arch or it might be world so you'll be able to uh, examine yours too okay i hope you have fun with this and i hope you try this at home and i hope you get to be a detective for a day and uh, maybe you can go around in your house and do some uh, attributing fingerprints on the surface or things using cornstarch and tape and yeah, try that at home. And I uh, hope you have fun with that. And I hope you to see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.